Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is male pattern baldness is recessive sex link trait on the X chromosome. A woman whose father had male pattern baldness marries a man with this trait. What is the probability that any son born will have pattern baldness? As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. This problem very easy to solve if we would use Punnett square. So we know that a female woman had a father who had uh, this partial baldness that is X link. Uh, so the genotype of her father was uh, X. I would use red color to designate this defective X chromosome and why? So this genotype of her father and her mother had two normal X chromosomes. So when we build the Punnett square, we can see uh, all the possible genotypes in the progeny. So here in the first cell, we have one normal X chromosome from the mother side. So this is mother side and this is father side. And one defective X chromosome from the father side. Here we have one normal X chromosome from the mother side and one defective X chromosome from the father side. And normal X and normal Y chromosome here, normal X and normal Y chromosome from the father side here. So here we have 50% of the uh, progeny males and 50% of the progeny females. And as you see, all the female progeny in this family are carriers. So now we know the genotype of the woman. So this woman has uh, this genotype and uh, she marries um, another man who also shows this trait. So uh, man has also genotype that is defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. So this is male side and uh, female is heterozygous. She is carrier. She has one defective X chromosome and one normal X chromosome. Once again, when we build the Punnett square, we can predict uh, all the genotypes and phenotypes in their progeny. So here we have two defective X chromosomes. Here we have one normal X chromosome from the mother side and uh, defective X chromosome from the father side. Defective X chromosome from the mother side here and normal Y chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So once again our question what is the probability that any son born will have pattern baldness and as you see 50% uh, of the progeny would be males and 50% of those males would be affected with this uh, partial baldness trait because uh, males do not have another uh, X chromosome with normal allele to balance this defective uh, allele, uh, such a male uh, would show this trait. As long as uh, you see 50% of the female progeny would have two defective uh, alleles, but uh, females wouldn't show this trait to such extent as males do. We call such trait sex influenced trait. For example, if male would show complete baldness or would lose uh, half of his uh, hairs at least, uh, female with the same condition only would show uh, thinning of her hairs. And uh, another example would be sex limited trait. So sex limited trait that we can see only in males or females. For example, 
uh, birth in males uh, and uh, breast development in females. So this would be sex limited traits. And examples that we work on today was a sex uh, influenced trait. And the correct answer would be 50% of the uh, male progeny would be affected with this genetic uh, disorder. And 50%, another 50% of the male progeny would uh, show normal trait. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.